April 3rd, 2011. This is today's climate change update. A lot of things going on today. Um, some new things coming out of Japan. I am going to attach links to, I would say, at least two videos I want you to watch. And um, <clears throat> apparently they found a couple workers dead in the basement in the number two uh, pump room um, when the explosion went on. And uh, they can't seem to stop the, the salt water leak. And uh, I, again, I, I'm going to attach a couple of videos below and I, I encourage you to watch them. Um, over to Earth Changes, Scott.net today. Uh, best of the web, more updates on Fukushima, discussion of high level radiation released, and previous worst case scenario planned for by the industry. Uh, now this is that um, that one scientist guy that, that helped design the racks and stuff and he's had a couple of videos out. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen. I will attach it. This is one of those two videos I want you to watch. It's on uh, earthchangescott.net but I will attach a link to his site so you can keep updated when he puts out a video. Uh, we had a 6.7 earthquake south of Java in Indonesia. They put out some tsunami warnings, but uh, nothing major came of it. Another 6.4 in the Fiji region in the South Pacific, so uh, that southern part of that plate, that Pacific plate. And that's all they have new today over the extinction protocol. Um... They've got a story, Planet's Climate Unraveling, Record Heat in Denver, Followed by Snow. Now we got a heck of a spring system rolling through the United States right now. I know we got a couple of videos out uh, about this. Uh, heck, I just posted a video with the thunderstorms that rolled through here about a quarter to 10 p.m. on the 3rd. So, um, Denver, a blast of winter will barrel through Colorado Sunday, just one day after Denver experienced record heat. Saturday's strong Chinook winds smashed Denver's previous record of 76 degrees and placed it with a and replaced it wind and mind blowing 84. The extreme warmth will be short lived though as a cold front races into town Sunday morning. And of course, you know, when you get that much heat and that much cold that close together, um, severe storms do happen and um, the central United States, the southern plains, uh, and up through the East Coast to as you watch this and um, tomorrow, I'm sure. Uh, more warning signs, another strong earthquake strikes off the coast of Fiji. And again, that's talking about the plate tectonics and uh, the unstableness there. Uh, we got another weird insect thing going on. Caterpillar plagues overrun villages in East Java, Indonesia. Uh, now they're saying these caterpillars are coming out of their natural habitat because the volcanoes are going off and destroy their uh, ecosystem. But they're uh, talking about they might have to evacuate some of these villagers because these these caterpillars are just taking over. And uh, they've got a story out of uh, Seoul, Korea: Earth, wind. Earth, wind, fire, and water and fire omens of catastrophe plagues region of Japan. Now this is out of Seoul, Korea. Volcanologists from the north cited snowfall and uh, Gasong in late March as an unusual environmental change. They said it was unprecedented in the relatively southern part of the communist state. A uh, North Korean volcano volcanologist also said that followed in the quake in Japan, they observed underground water shaking and splashing up to 60 centimeters, with the usually clear water wells occasionally turning muddy. He also said the abnormal events seemed to be related to the 9.0 earthquake that hit northeast Japan on March 11th. Many South Korean scientists have cautiously raised speculation that an eruption could take place in four to five years, but they have claimed strange signs, including minor trembling, at Mount uh, Bekdu in June 2002. The frequency has increased. The Chinese Institute monitoring volcanic activity acknowledged minor quakes, which were too weak to be felt by human beings, occurred nearly a hundred times per day. 
Among other indicators foreshadowing the future eruption is the height, which has grown nearly 10 centimeters since 2002. A scientist said bloated magma, a precondition for an eruption, is gradually increasing in the height of the mountain as well as raising the temperatures on the surface. Now there's a big volcano in North Korea uh, close to the Chinese border, and it's a big one. So if that goes off, Japan's just downwind from that. Volcanic ash and nuclear fallout should be an interesting mix. Disaster Alert Network today. <clears throat> um, about 100 wildfires burned across Oklahoma on Sunday, and homes have been damaged near uh, Guyman, official said. And uh, residents were evacuated. And uh, they've still got ongoing wildfire situations that's been going on for a few weeks now, at least. We've got more floods in Australia. Northern Territory Emergency Services have been forced to evacuate several remote communities in Arnhem Land as the top ends. Um, really wet season, just nonstop, and they've got a tropical storm that's about to hit up there too. Another forest fire in North America, large grass fire prompted authorities in Santana, Kansas to briefly evacuate the town's 1,200 residents as the blaze damaged three houses. Now they sent everybody off to the high school and they went off and fought the fire and now they let everybody go back um, this uh, Sunday night, um, all except for a few areas that are uh, doing on the flare-ups. So there you go, they evacuated the town through everybody in the high school. Tropical cyclone warnings for northwestern Australia. And again, that has to do with that flooding I just reported on. Japan, United States post-tsunami recovery, recovery operation in final day. Over 12,000 confirmed dead. Now, Tokyo, <clears throat> Japan's self-defense forces and the United States military conducted massive recovery mission on Sunday to locate and retrieve bodies still unaccounted for by the magnitude 9 point quake and tsunami that hit northeast Japan on March 11th. According to the Defense Ministry, the final day of the joint mission continued on land and sea in the northeast Pacific coastal region followed the recovery of 35 bodies on Friday and 31 bodies on Saturday. And now the mission involved 8,000 um, Japanese troops and 7,000 Americans as well as members of the police force, fire brigades, and the Coast Guard. They managed to retrieve some of the missing victims, but the total number of people still missing in the six prefectures stood at about 15,472. Now, what they're not telling you on this report is, um, in the evacuation zone near Fukushima, that's 20 kilometers this way and 20 kilometers that way, they didn't do anything. Everything's just as it was on the 11th. So, or when they put up the evacuation <clears throat> call, and all those bodies are still there. So, the situation just intensifies, and, you know, we're still not talking about all the crop loss, and, and all the radiation in the Pacific Ocean, and, and the sea lanes, and all those rich fishing grounds off the coast of Alaska. How are those going to be affected by all this? So um, this is just an ongoing compiling situation. And then I want to introduce you to a new website tonight. Um, it's called The Watchers, and it's another weather um, disaster style website. Their latest headlines, more storms, tropical depressions forecast for East Sea. Uh, this year the number of storms and tropical depressions can can directly hit Vietnam as forecast from number from five to six. So the South China Sea, Vietnam era is expecting more rains. Dyke in Sumatra collapses, flooding more homes. As flood plagues parts of Sumatra, Java, and Papa, a river bank in North Sumatra has collapsed, flooding hundreds of homes with hundreds more facing potential flooding. Now the dike on the other side is weak and leaking. <clears throat> And they're expected more rain on top of the volcanoes and everything else these people have been dealing with lately. The Cuban coastline retreat up to 2.5 meters. Uh, most of the 400 beaches in Cuba's territory are affected by erosion. 
with a rescinding coastline estimate at 1.2 meters per year according to a study by the Institute of um, here I can continue reading quick by the Institute of Oceanology of the island the research ratified the widespread nature of the Cuban beach erosion due to phenomena such as sea level rise, sand mining, construction of building on natural dunes, and incorrection, yeah, in, incorrect location of piers. So, this could go along with um, Scott's Believers Underground that these islands are sinking because none of our coastlines are, you know. Where's all the big water rise we were supposed to get? That is about it for today. Um, again, I specified that there are a couple of videos on Fukushima I would like you to watch. Uh, one's a guy out of... Um, <clears throat> where'd he go? One's a guy out of England, I think. And uh, he's pretty on top of it. I, I plugged him yesterday to the day before. And uh, his name is... Where'd he go? leak spinner and um, and then the other guy is the one that was uh, highlighted on scott.net tonight so there are some things going on um, they've, they've kind of trying to put a lockdown on the news coming out of Fukushima um, so just stay tuned and enjoy while you can thanks everybody